Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Nesting Prada Saleh. So in this video, I'll be discussing the answer key for Life Sciences, that is CSER exam, June 2021. So previously, I, made, I placed a video, two parts of the video regarding answers for shift one, morning shift question paper. If, if you didn't watch the video, please do watch. And if you all belong to shift two, then this video is for you guys. Okay, so without any delay, let's get into the video. The first question was with respect to the school key bodies, which of the following helps in determining the position of school key bodies and the options are actin, microtubule, peroxisome and nucleus. Okay, so I think you student will delete this particular two options, peroxisomes and nucleus, whereas you will be having confusions among whether it is an actin or microtubule. So you can refer this particular article, friends. So it is a school key positioning by Smitha Yadav. It is under Cold Spring Harbor uh, CSH Perspectives. It has been published in 2011. You can refer this article. Okay, so the answer is microtubules, friends, because uh, most commonly the cytoplasmic dynein motor protein. So this dynein motor protein belongs to the microtubule class. It is belong to microtubule, and this dynein protein is in mediating the inward cargo uh, movement. Along with that, this dynein protein is also involved in positioning the Golgi body. So the correct option is microtubules. Next, myron is act on. Which of the following plant molecules? So you should know myronase is nothing but it's a beta thioglucosidase enzyme. And the role of this myronase is that it catalyzes the hydrolysis of glucosinolate. After hydrolysis process, this glucosinolate will release the uh, compound. Okay, so this myronase is an enzyme which is involved in plants defense. Okay, so after hydrolysis of this glucosinolates, okay, so it will release a compound like isothiocyanate, indoles, glucobrasin, glucoberin and gluconopin. Okay, and all these compounds will lead to overall antioxidant capacity. So it was given in this particular article, Wang et al. 2015, can refer to the correct option is this glucosinolates. And this is again, I don't know what is the question, friends, but I'm making sure which of the following receptor has a high affinity of nitrate reduction. Okay, so the options are ATR123. So for this, you should refer this particular website or you can refer string database. So here the correct option is ATR1, friends. I had gathered that from a string website only. So ATR, this particular receptor, its other name is that NADPA cytochrome P450 detectase. It belongs to this type of enzymes and it is required to transfer NADPH to cytochrome P15 microsoft. And in addition, this particular receptor play an important role in electron transfer to heme oxygenase and cytochrome B5. And if you refer nitrase reductase enzyme, the active site or catalytic site of this nitrate reduction has this heme group that is heme oxygenate group. So that's the reason I'm saying this ATR1 is the correct answer. But then this particular question is still uh, having many doubt. I think you students have gave exam and I think you are more aware about what is the question that has been asked. I think for you students, I'm suggesting you to refer the string website for answer, getting answer. The ATR1 is the correct answer. Next is a direct question, friends. So, for all this question, I gather not from any other sources. I gather from uh, uh, in many YouTube channel has placed a live video. In the live comments, many students have asked these questions, and these question has not been answered by that particular channel. So, either I just note on all those questions that, that has been asked from the student, and in that particular video, I'm giving you answers. Okay. So, next is a direct question. One student was asked, "What is the unit of molecular extension coefficient?" The correct answer is m to the power of minus one centimeter to the power of minus one or this particular answer or the correct answer in colloquial way it's called as meter square per mole so SA unit of molar attention coefficient is a square meter per molecule which is a correct option friends it is a square meter per molecule but generally in terms of practice it is generally expressed as this particular thing both three options are correct only friends i don't know which options you had here and this particular equation is generally asked in the question as a is equal to epsilon cl where this epsilon is a molar extension coefficient which amino acid is present in N-terminal cytoplasm? Okay, so this cluster of positively charged basic amino acid residues. So most commonly, this lies. I has taken from this from a, uh, one uh, research article only. So you can uh, you can assure me. It's also involved in promoting the interaction of many peripheral membrane protein with the cytoplasmic surface of the plasma membrane via electrostatic interaction. The correct option is this lysine. Okay, and most commonly, positively charged. Amino acid and also basic amino acid residue will be involving in the M terminal side of the plasma. So, the correct option is lysine. Next, which is responsible for special attachment between Golgi and nucleus? I think many cell, cell, cell biology questions have been uh, focused on this Golgi apparatus. I don't know why. So, I have for answering this question, you need to refer this particular thing. Madame Curie Bioscience Database Internet. It's a Golgi apparatus, Zohalin, Hua article you can refer. Okay. So, the correct option is tubular connection. So, in mammals, a single Golgi apparatus. So, if you refer the eukaryotic uh, 
plant uh, eukaryotic cell means you can able to see the Golgi apparatus is usually attaches to the nucleus most commonly it will be closer to the cytosome okay and the which particular connection is responsible it means the only tubular connection only which is responsible for linking the stacks together okay and also this position of Golgi generally varies with cell okay it varies with cell type and species okay and this Golgi will often sit between the nucleus and the apical membrane of polarized epithelial cell okay and also this particular positioning is controlled by a microtubular network and already I had discussed dynein and dynactin motor protein are involved in uh, positioning this Golgi elements okay so next question is which of the following statement about transferrin is true so they had given four option transferring blood plasma protein glycoprotein yes it is a correct option transferring the blood plasma glycoprotein and this transferring is responsible for ferric and nervine yes it is also correct and this transferring is involved in free peptide apport transferrin yes this is also correct but the last option transferring can bind only to two atoms here they have given three atom it can only bind to only two atom of ferric air and also with high affinity here they had given low affinity which is a wrong option so a b see a correct option what is the source of energy used by amino acylation amino acyl tRNA synthetase to power the reaction which attaches the amino acid to its tRNA so amino acylation of tRNA is a very important process every year what is one question will be asked okay so one question has been asked from this particular unit and I thought that the source of energy is this ATP because amino acyl tRNA synthetase catalyzes the formation of the high energy mixed anhydride bond between the acyl group of amino acid and also 3 dash positioning of ribosome of tRNA okay by how this attachment is made means by using the hydrolysis of ATP okay next question is there is a question regarding stem cells and extraction how the stem cells are extracted so the three ma main ways of the stem cells to be harvested from first is from blood okay so the from blood the stem cells can be extracted by using a special machine next is from bone marrow okay so bone marrow from the hip bone they will extract and also from this cord blood, that is umbilical cord blood where donated blood from the placenta and umbilical cord of a new baby is used as a source of stem cells Next is with regarding the vitamin B12 uh, metalloenzyme compound. So, this metalloenzyme is nothing but they are broad group of enzymes. So, this metalloenzyme they generally carry a metal cation as a cofactor. Okay, and this uh, metalloenzyme has a diverse process in the hydrolytic process and oxidation and reduction reaction. So, with respect to vitamin B12, which is an again a metalloenzyme, which metal is used means in this article they had given detail, it was published on. Jan 2021 20, uh, only. So here they had given cobalt is required for vitamin B12. So the correct option is cobalt, which is a metal cation used in vitamin B12. Next is with respect to this nuclear localization signal. So I, and I have referred this particular paper, friends. So you too can refer. It is from Cell Communication Signaling, and it was published on May 2021. Types of nuclear localized signaling mechanism of protein important nucleus. So unlike the protein that are bounded to ER or mitochondria. In this particular protein, which are protein that bound to ER and mitochondria, this N terminal targeting signal will be cleaved. Whereas with respect to this nuclear localization signal, there is no such cleaving will be taken place. Okay. And next, this NLS was first identified to the mutants of simian virus 40. And also, this NLS generally composed of seven amino acids. I think the questions has been I, I, I'm answering your question, even though I don't know question, I don't know question. I'm answering just based on the uh, questions that has been asked. Okay, since it's a new article, generally uh, the CSCR who are setting the question paper, they don't refer the textbooks and all, they generally refer the articles with refer to. So what I'm saying that if you if you clear the stem then leave it if you didn't clear the stem the next time if you are studying any topic say if you are studying extracellular matrix protein means rather than stay sticking on to textbook you can refer some recent article that are uploaded and just read the abstract alone you can find the many good answers and this NLS is composed of seven amino acids that include proline lysine 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 arginine lysine valine and this NLS is also used in the cancer treatment and virus a viral infection prevention Next is the uh, match the following. I think it is a easier thing. So, topa isomerase 1 is an enzyme which is used for cutting one of the two strands of double stranded DNA. Whereas, this topa isomerase 2 cut both the strands of DNA double helix. And with respect to this DNA polymerase alpha, it is used for initiation of DNA replication. Whereas, this DNA called delta, it is used for DNA replication and repair. And next is an, again, an important question that has been asked from uh, 8 unit that is inheritance biology genetics. The mother is O blood group and he, she is RS positive, and father is AB. AB blood group and he is RS negative. What is the blood group of a, a baby born to them? So, you should know RS factor is nothing but this is also a protein that will be found on an RBC. So, if the RH protein is present on the red blood cells, then the person will be RH positive and if it is not been present, then it is RH negative. Next, this is an important thing. So, students, please take a printout or take a note of this particular slide which I am showing you. If a father is an RH factor gene that is plus plus and mother is also plus plus means 
the baby will extract one uh, gene from father and another gene from mother. So the baby will be again Rh positive. Next, if the forest Rh factor is both the genes are positive and in mothers both the genes are negative. She is not a Rh positive gene. She is a negative. The baby will extract one gene from father and she, he will extract another gene that is Rh negative gene from the mother. And in this circumstances also the baby will be Rh positive. Next, if the forest gene, oh, sorry, father gene is positive or negative and mother's gene is also positive and negative, then there are three chances of the baby blood group. There are 25% chance, 50% of chances for the baby to be positive, positive, RH positive and there are 25% chances of the baby to be positive minus that is RH positive and 25% of the baby will be RH negative. And if father gene, he is RH negative and mother carrying positive and negative gene, he, she is RH positive means 50% of the offsprings will be RH positive and 50% will be RH negative. If both the father and mother are RH negative or RH negative, then there is no gene for transmission. As a result, the baby will be RH negative. So, with respect to this particular question, the mother is RH positive and father is RH negative. Then, most commonly, the children will be RH positive only. Okay. Next thing, which one of the following is involved in the scheme, scheme of photosynthesis? So, put, uh, photosynthetic center 1. PS2 and NAD perturbed involved, whereas cytochrome oxidase is not involved. So here you can able to see in EZ scheme, electrons are removed from the water and they will be donated to P680. Thereby, the absorption of proton will excite this P680 to P680. It's an excited protein, and here it will donate the electron to quinone cytochrome B chain. Here they had given cytochrome oxidase, no, this is not involved. Only quinone cytochrome BF chain is involved and with the protein pumping. And this will be then transported to PS1, thereby converting the P700 to P700 excited stage. And then the electron will be transported to NADPH, thereby it will be from NADPH. Okay, so this is how the electron cycle over there. Next, which is the principal inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain and it is derived from a glutamate. So, inhibitory neurotransmitter, there are two types of neurotransmitter, ex exhibitory and inhibitory. Inhibitory, they generally inhibit the nerve signal from uh, synaptic terminal or your action potential, okay. Whereas, this exhibitory means they will exhibit and they will uh, allow the signal to pass from the synaptic terminal. And they, here, they are asking which particular neurotransmitter is derived from glutamate. So, I think many students will get confused with glycine and gamma amino bacteria acid. The Correct option is this gamma amino bacteria acid, which is an inhibiting neurotransmitter derived from glutamate. And next, there is a question asked from Grigalin, and it is also called as linomoralin. It is a hormone that is produced by enteroendocrine cell. Okay, and it is has been produced by the gastrointestinal tract. And this hormone is called as hunger hormone because this hormone is responsible for increase in food take. And blood levels of glycerin are highest before meal when hungry and returning to lower after meal. Okay, and this particular glycerin is helped for prepare for food intake by increasing the gastric motility and also stimulating the secretion of gastric acid. I think here you can be able to extract answers since you know the question asked from this glycerin. Next is largest reservoir for carbon. It has been asked from ecology unit. And every year in ecology, I think you can get this particular word carbon. So, correct option is uh, ocean because many students will be given it as an atmosphere. In atmosphere, nitrogen only will be there. The largest reservoir is from ocean only because in ocean, there are many diverse species will be there. So, the carbon amount and carbon respiration will be there. Next, which of the following statement is correct? I think all the statements are correct, friends, because B12 is a coenzyme, this is vitamin B12, and it is also a metal organic protein, and this paradox phosphate is used as a cofactor, and this avidin and biotin are best option. Next, there is a question which regarding to the snail patella syndrome. To this, you should refer this particular thing. So, here you can, this is a rad disease info.nih, uh, the National Center for Advertising Translation Diseases. So, GAR, the genetic and rad diseases, here you can able to get your answer. So, here you can able to see, actually this name patella syndrome is a genetic disease, friends, and it is caused by the mutation in this LMX1BY gene. And the type of mode of inheritance is by autosomal dominant manner. Okay, so this is what the thing, I think questions has been asked whether it is an autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive. And also many students have been informed that there is a question with regarding to COVID vaccine. I don't know what is the correct question, but then if you know the answer, you can be able to check on this particular website called Serum Institute of India. Okay, so that is a website name is seruminstitute.com. Here you can be able to get information 
information about all the vaccines that are manufactured in India. So I think you can able to extract more and more information in this website if you know the answer. And as I mentioned previously, I thought I, I said that definitely one question will be asked from this uh, COVID vaccination. And, uh, and I said, I said, said the vaccination has been done. So in this website, you can refer and try to extract the answer. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching this video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel only. Then I can upload more answer queues regarding to things. And if you want to answer and if you know the question, at least you know any keyword of the question, then please do tell me in the comment section so that I can answer you by following you and by suggesting you few research papers. Okay, thank you friends. Thanks for watching this video.